look at how to set up brackets on Trader Rig. So in the DOM, I'm going to brackets, settings, turn off and turn them on. And this is what it's going to look like. So you have delta price, ticks, and value, and dollar value. So all dollar value is is essentially my take profit is, is at plus 400, and my stop loss is at minus 140. Um, I don't go by ticks because it's a lot. I go by delta price, which is one point, right? Four ticks uh, is in one point. So that's why right, 20 times 4 is 80. So that I don't go by ticks. You guys do what you want. But I go by delta price. It's 20 points. If I enter at 16,000 on NQ, my take profit is 16,020. My stop loss is 15,993. It's just basic, simple math we can all do. And your stop type, uh, type I use just regular stop. Auto break even, what this does is essentially if you set it to two and one, so let's say you enter at 16,000. As soon as the price hits 16,002, it's going to automatically move your stop from minus seven to plus one. That way if price goes up, but then it comes back down, it'll stop you out for 20 bucks or whatever you set it to. That way you, you don't have to take a, a stop loss out at a loss. Now just be warned, on live, sometimes, like I'll do it, if I'm scalping, I'll do it like a one and a 50. Sometimes, because it's a stop loss, it's a market order. Sometimes if price moves quick, it might, even if it's at one point, you still might lose on the trade, five, 10, 15, 20 bucks, depending. And sometimes the brackets disappear, right? So when you have a bracket, if you place an order, it automatically has your stop loss right here, right? And it has my take profit up here. What happens is it'll fill you and then the brackets will disappear what so it it's like these things go away and now you don't ha now you have nothing to protect you so if you have the auto break even on just um make sure that you're being careful and what um, i'm on demo right now so make sure you're being being you're monitoring it don't walk away from the computer if this is on because trade has issues so let's say you wanted to make a new one. So I wanted to make one that is just a stop loss in case I want to give it space to run. So I would come here. You have take profit plus stop loss, stop loss only, take profit only. So I would go to stop loss only and I would set it. Let's just say I wanted it to be 10 and then I would save it. And then now it's in here with my other ones. And if I get in, you can see stop loss is already right there. So. That's how I bracket set failed. up. If you want to come in and you can edit them, delete, you can add, and you can name it whatever you want. Take profit plus stop loss. Come in here and then you can add that in. Save it. And there they are. Name them what you want. I got my GT350. I got the mayor. You know, just your whatever, whatever, you know, I got Flavor Town. That's this is my scalping one. So I'll put it right here. And this is what I'm talking about though with the auto break even. Uh, I have it off because sometimes what happens is it'll 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 fill me short. I'm thinking it's gonna drop and then all of a sudden it like disappears and I'm in a long. So now I'm trying to short the market, but it's automatically put me in a long. Uh, and then if it keeps dropping, like you're boned. So just be practice with the auto break even. Um, just so you, if you're gonna turn it on, it works great in sim, but sim isn't the live market. All right, that's it. Till next time.